Welcome to Statics Lectures by Civil Thinking and today we are going to solve another problem on cross analysis using method of sections. Now before I move on I suggest you to please watch the video lectures on cross analysis one by one in sequence so that you understand better. You can watch the videos one by one from the playlist. The link is in the description or also you can click on the pop up on your screen. Now coming to the today's problem. Now. In this class, we will learn method of sections by solving this tutorial problem. Okay. Now, I have already told you, if you want to find the force in all the members of a truss, you need to apply method of joints. And if you have to find the force in a particular member, one member or two or only few members, then you can use method of sections. Okay so let us begin with this problem now in this problem we have to find the member force in eg member right where is the eg member this inclined member this is eg member right so you have to find the member force in this now we have some steps first step is find the support reaction and how do we find support reactions we draw the free body diagram of the whole truss and apply the equations of equilibrium okay now let us draw the free body diagram first now this is a pin support and we have two reactions in a pin support okay so let me erase this okay now we have two reactions at a pin right now let us assume the horizontal direction is denoted with x and the vertical is denoted with y okay so this reaction i will call it as a y support reaction at a in the y direction y is the vertical direction and i will call this as a x support reaction at a in the x direction x is the horizontal direction okay now this is a roller and in a roller we have only one reaction and it is upwards okay so let me this is b point and the support reaction i will call as b y support reaction at b in the y direction okay now this is the free body diagram okay now we will apply the equations of equilibrium okay now for a 2d structure for a 2d truss there are only three equations of equilibrium and they are summation of force along x axis is zero summation of force along y axis is zero and summation of moment at any point is zero okay for a 2d body we have only these three equations of a equations of equilibrium okay now i have already made a video lecture on uh, equations of equilibrium if you want to know more details about these equations you can watch that video lecture okay but uh, i am suggesting you uh, but that may be not important because we just have to apply these equations okay so let us apply them one by one now let's first apply summation of f of x equal to 0. Now we will sum up all the forces in the x direction or the horizontal direction. And you can see there is only one force in the horizontal direction or x direction which is ax. Okay. So from here ax is 0. Okay. Since this is 0, so we will simply erase it. Okay. Now let us apply another equation. Now let us apply this moment equation summation of moment let me choose the point to be b about point b is zero choosing clockwise moments as positive so uh, a y is going to exert a clockwise moment at b so it is going to be a y multiplied by moment is force multiplied by the normal distance between the force and the point where we are finding okay now we are finding moment about b right so this is a force so the normal distance between them is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 okay so 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8 okay it is 8 meters we found the moment due to this now we have this 9 kilonewton 9 kilonewton is downwards so that it will exert an anti-clockwise moment at b so the moment due to 9 kilonewton is negative so i will draw negative sign here 9 kilonewton multiplied by normal distance between 9 kilonewton and b it is 2 plus 2 plus 2 so it is 6 meters right now we found the moment due to this now 
that is why in the movement of 4 kN again it is downwards it is going to exert an anti-clockwise movement so it is negative 4 kN multiplied by normal distance between 4 and B it is 2 plus 2 is 4 meters then we have 7 kN it is also going to exert an anti-clockwise movement so it is 7 multiplied by normal distance between 7 and point B it is 2 meters okay so we found the moment also due to this now by is passing through b so the moment due to by at b is going to be zero so i will not consider this term so all of it is equal to zero okay now when you simplify this now this is a by one plus by eight now let me use a calculator it is going to be nine multiplied by six plus four multiplied by four plus seven multiplied by two it is 84 okay all of this is 84 because they are negative so it is going to be negative 84 it is going to be negative 84 kilonewton meter right let me show you why it is kilonewton meter uh, yes here you see this is kilonewton and this is meter okay so what we get we get kilonewton meter right so let us continue so it was 84 kilonewton right 84 kilonewton meter is equal to 0 okay now from here i will get the value of a y to be 84 divided by 8 okay now let me use the calculator 84 divided by 8 it is 10.5 okay 10.5 now you see 80, 84 was kilonewton meter right and 8 you can see here it is 8 meters meter and meter would cancel out so we are left with kilonewton okay so a y is 10.5 kilonewton so let me erase this so a y is 10.5 kilonewton okay now let me erase this we have applied this also we have applied this now we will erase this then we will apply this equation okay now let us apply this equation summation of forces about along y axis is zero y axis is the vertical remember i am assuming the upward forces are positive and the downward forces are negative so we have to sum up all the forces which are vertical okay the vertical forces now 10.5 is upward so it is positive 10.5 kilonewton then we have 9 4 7 they are all downward so they are all negative minus 9 kilonewton minus 4 kilonewton minus 7 kilonewton then by is upwards so it is positive so all of them is equal to 0 okay now from here we will get the value of by now let me use a calculator to find the value of by by is going to be 9 plus 4 plus 7 minus 10.5 it is 9.5 it is kilonewton right so we got the value of by to be 9.5 kilonewton okay now this way with the help of equations of equilibrium we found this support reaction so our step one is complete okay now let me erase this and then we will apply step two now step two is cut the truss into two parts at member where member force is required okay now where we want to find the force eg now this is the member right we have to find force in this eg member okay now we have to cut the whole truss into two parts but where add so that it cuts eg we have to find force in eg so we will cut here okay but we will cut completely like this okay this is the section line we will cut the whole truss into two parts but there is a rule what is the rule it should not not do, don't cut do not cut more than three members okay three members now this section line will cut the truss in two parts but we have to see if it does not cut more than three okay after three is okay so one this section line is cutting this member this member and this member okay they are one two and three okay so we are okay okay now let me explain actually cut it okay because that way you will understand better okay so let me use the eraser
let me cut it here okay I have cut the whole truss into two parts okay now let me separate it a bit okay as you can see we have cut this okay this was point H okay and let me erase all of these details okay so we have cut this truss into two parts right this is the left part right this is left side this is the left part of this truss and this is the right part of this truss okay so we have cut the member so we have completed the step two okay now step three is this analyze only one part okay you can see only one part of the truss so that the member force is easy to find okay now we have to consider only one part either the left or the right side okay left part or the right part and we have to analyze it okay but we have to keep in mind while choosing which part we uh, you know consider for analysis we have to keep in mind we have to choose that part so that our analysis is easy okay which is simple okay so when i look at this truss i find the right side is uh, a bit simple okay so i will choose the right side okay so let me choose this right side now forget about this left part okay just forget about this now consider only the right part okay now i am assuming the forces in cut members they are all tensile okay let us call this as force in what member was this gh okay force in gh now this is force in what member is this force in eg eg now what member is this force in de okay now i am assuming all these forces are tensile why tensile because you can see these arrows are away from the joint right when the arrows are away from the joint it means tensile okay so let us analyze this right part okay now what do you mean by analysis what do you mean by analyze analyze means we have to apply these equations of equilibrium okay these equations of equilibrium okay so that we find what we find force in eg right so what we have to find we have to find feg because that's what is asked in the problem we have to find this feg okay how do we find this by applying these equations of equilibrium right so now now before uh, analyzing this part analyzing before applying these equations we have to resolve this force feg into horizontal and vertical okay why because summation of f of x means force sum of all the forces in the x direction but feg is inclined so feg will not fit in this equation okay unless we resolve and find the components okay so similarly summation of f of y summation of forces in y direction but feg is not also in the y direction it is neither in x nor in y so how can we apply this equation because feg is neither in x so we cannot apply fx equation it is not also in y direction so we cannot apply we cannot fit it in the fy equation so what we do we will find the components in uh, in the direction of x and y okay so that those components will be included in these equations okay now let us say this angle is theta okay now let me change the color first now this is going to be the x component right this is going to be what let me okay this is going to be f e g cos theta okay cos theta and this is going to be the y component this is f e g sine of theta okay now these are the you know the rectangular components of this force this is known this is this concept is known as resolution of forces i have already made a video lecture if you want to know more details about these two components you know resolution of forces you can watch that video okay 
now we have to apply these equations okay so that we found f e g okay because we have to find the e g right we have to find found f e g okay let me change the color first we have found this f e g now right now we have to think which equation we apply do we apply f x f x equation f y equation or moment equation okay we can apply all of these or we can apply just one or two okay until we get f e g okay now right now you have to think which equation do we apply first okay so uh, look carefully now this in the y direction we have f e g sine theta okay now theta is basically this angle theta is going to be uh, this is 2 meters the height of this triangle is 2 meters and the base is 2 meters right let me show it here uh, this is theta and this is also theta okay now you see theta is this is 2 meters in this triangle e b h okay the base is 2 meters the height is 2 meters so theta is going to be tan inverse of uh, this normal component divided by base this is tan inverse of 2 divided by 2 that is tan inverse of 2 and tan inverse of sorry tan inverse of 2 divided by 2 is 1 tan inverse of 1 is what 45 degrees so theta is 45 degrees okay so sine theta we know sine 45 degree okay now in the vertical direction we have how many unknowns do we have this is now this red it is 7 right you can see here it is 7 kN okay now let me erase this first okay this is 7 now in the vertical direction we have 7 this is known value right because 7 is a number numerical value it is known 9.5 is also in the y direction it is also known and feg is unknown it is also in the y direction right feg sine theta it is in the y direction now in the y direction we have only unknown which is feg sin theta okay so we will apply this equation first so let me apply summation of forces along the y axis is zero assuming upward forces are positive so seven is downwards so it is negative seven kilonewton now 9.5 is upwards plus 9.5 kilonewton now this is feg sin theta is upwards plus f e g sin theta is what 45 degrees right i will write 45 degrees now do we have another force in y direction no so all of it is equal to zero okay now when you simplify this equation we will find the value of f e g okay now from here f e g is going to be when you, when i rearrange this equation it is going to be uh, 7 minus 9.5 right 7 minus 9.5 divided by sine 45 degrees okay now let me use the calculator to find the value 7 minus 9.5 divided by sine of 45 so it is approximately equal to negative 3.5 kilo newton okay so we got the force in feg to be negative 3.5 newton okay now negative means the force is in compression not tension okay so this is 3.5 kN newton compression c4 compression okay so yes our answer is correct 3.5 kN newton compression okay so this way we find the force in a particular member using method of sections okay now if you really enjoy this video if you learn something please give me a thumbs up and see you in the next class thank you